UCP leader Daniel Smith posing for a photograph with three Ottawa convoy participants days before an election in Alberta officially begins. Her political opponents say it's a bad look. The premier is deciding to hang out with these people with extreme views, some of them having criminal charges as well. The three in the photo along with Smith, Harold Yonker, a convoy protester and town councillor in the Niagara region who was found to be in breach of that town's code of conduct. Sandra Bowder and her husband James, both charged with mischief, disobeying a lawful court order and resisting a peace officer. James played a lead role in the Ottawa convoy. The public inquiry into the public order emergency references him and his wife 56 times. He was one of the co-authors of this power sharing arrangement that they were going to deliver to the governor general, basically stripping Trudeau and the Canadian uh, House of Commons of any authority. That power was going to be shared between the Senate and, uh, and the convoy organizers. But the UCP says there's no connection to Smith. In a statement of Global News, the party says in full. As usual, the Premier took part in a routine photo lineup with nearly 200 people last night. The Premier does not personally know these individuals. There seems to be a repeated pattern all related around COVID that Daniel Smith keeps sticking her foot into. Earlier this month, Smith faced more backlash after Calgary street preacher Archer Pulowski met with her while facing charges related to the Coots blockade. But political scientist Wayne Bratt says these types of photos and meetings likely won't make much of a difference in the looming campaign. There's going to be one view that just says, Here, here's another example. Um, and another view that says, uh, you know, this is no big deal, you know, Notley's worse. Uh, and then there's going to be a subsection that's going to be cheering her on. Despite that, the NDP are trying to bring these instances front and centre. Premier need to explain to Albertans that why people like uh, James Border, people like Theo Fleury, people like Arthur Polwalski have Premier's ear. The writ drops Monday, election day is May 29th. Safe Kaiser, Global News.